Hi, I thought I'd go through today and show you how that I generate the um, Google Doc that I mentioned in my blog yesterday um, and just show you how I generate the HTML code and although I can't show you how to use it in the College Moodle I can certainly show you how that I use it in a uh, blog for instance um, so um, I'll go into my um, Google and I, I tend to use uh, not the um, the icon at the top of the screen that um, is on the bar but I use the apps um, logos in the in the browser and I go to the drive section of Google and I will generate one you can see here I've got an awful lot here but I'll use the one that I've got for say um, some surveying that I've done um, and it's about adding and subtracting in degrees, minutes and seconds. And it's something that catches the students out um, until I show them quickly just how it's done by using uh, base 60 instead of base 10. And as you can see, I've just got um, a series of slides here. And I found actually an excellent um, little video on YouTube. And I've included that in as well. And on, on Google Docs, it's dead easy because what you need to do is to go into Tools and go into Research, and it opens up um, a research area, and you just look for adding and subtracting in degrees, minutes, and seconds, and a video comes up, and you just drag that video into your display area and release it. And you get a, um, a video within your presentations, and... Um, I'm a big believer in this. I think it's great, um, and it's certainly very easy to conduct a lesson using this sort of technology. And of course, at the end, I've just got a reference and reading list where I've put the actual address for the um, the YouTube video. So once you've done that, you need to go into um, File, and you need to look for Publish to the Web. And once you've done that, it say, do you really want to publish? Well, I've already done this once, so I had a bit of a practice. And so I've got the code here. Then I'm looking for this, the embed code here. And what I want to need, what I want to do is to, I want to make it as small as possible. The 480 by 299 is the right size for College Moodle. It displays the whole of the presentation rather than two thirds of a presentation in width, and um, I prefer that. So. Just change it down to the smallest size and then go back to the frame and just click and it'll highlight the whole thing. Right click and, and copy it in. And that's it. That's all you need to do. Um, I've got a, now a link, um, a HTML link to the document that's in my Google Docs on the um, in the cloud. Now what I want to do now is I want to go to a post that I'm preparing in um, in my um, WordPress and as you can see here um, under the WordPress system there are two bits and pieces here one is the actual visual in other words what you see is what you type but you can go on to the the text side which is where HTML is and I'm gonna put this down a little bit down here somewhere and just copy and paste it in now if I go to visual you'll see that that is actually put in now, what I need to do is to go there and shove that down a bit. For some reason, when you actually put it down, he says, oh, no, there's no text there. I'll put it up. So this is just some text, and I'll make a bigger thing about it when I put the blog up. But the actual link to my document is there, and whenever I change it or whether I update the original document, as soon as you load this up, you'll get the, the latest version which is exactly what I want my students to see. Okay, I hope that's um, helped a little bit. Just a little tip, really, for um, using Google Docs and using the, um, the distributed web on the, on the file and getting the code there, which is HTML, and then using that HTML within your um, either uh, blog or if you're in a college like me and you're using Moodle, then you can paste it into Moodle and it will, um, yeah, I use the notes version and then in notes there's a little button that says HTML, click on that, put the HTML in and then your um, presentation or a link to your presentation is shown there and as they load it up 
then you get the, the latest version. Okay, hope that's good. Thanks a lot. See you, bye.